Today we're talking about free will, mind control and karma. This is going to be so interesting. Let's get into that. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. And today we're going to talk about free will, mind control and karma. But if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I am here to make manifesting easier for you, giving you my best tips and advice. And I would love to have you here. But let's get into the topic. Okay, guys, so let's get started with free will. I know there are so many questions about free will. Am I giving them free will? Do they have free will? Am I taking someone free, someone's free will? Okay, here's the thing. In your reality, you are the creator. That means that you are the only person who has free will. You are the only person who really is the owner of your thoughts, okay? You are the only person who can create people. They don't have thoughts of their own. You ha they have the thoughts you think about them. So whenever you think about a situation that involves someone else's, and or when you think about someone, they are having the same thought, just they think it is their thoughts, not your thoughts. Um, and about free will, no, they do not have free will. You cannot take free. You cannot take free will from someone that has never had free will. Okay, they have their own reality. In their own reality, they have their free will. In your reality, you have free will. That's how it works. So, I am guilty to talk about uh, don't give them free will. If you give them free will, they're going to take it and run with it. But what I mean is, even if you act in a way that you are giving them free will, you are not giving them free will. You are just accepting that they are acting in a way that you don't want, that you don't like. That's how, what I mean when I say you're giving them free will and they are going to um, act in a way that you don't want. Because basically your thoughts are spiraling and you are creating things that you do not like. So that's why you have to have a mental diet, okay? A strict mental diet to achieve your goals. Um... But no, they do not have free will. When you think about someone um, having their own free will, they are still going to show up in a way that you want, in the way that you think about them. Your most dominant desire is just you are fooling yourself <laughs> that they have their own free will, but it's not true. So you are kind of getting the impression that they can think independently of you, of yourself, but they can't. They just can't. They are a version of you, okay? Everyone is your pushed out. They are a reflection. They are a version of you. They cannot show up in a way that is different of your assumption, of your most dominant belief. So whatever happens, if you don't know what your assumptions are, look around yourself. Your reality is showing back to you, is reflecting to you your most dominant belief, okay? So basically, when you're talking about a person, for example, if you assume that your person is faithful, even when they go out and travel with their friends, they are going to be faithful. They are going also maybe to be in situations where they can choose between being faithful and unfaithful and they still are going to choose to be faithful but the reason why they are doing that is because you most dominant your most dominant belief is that they are faithful so they have to show up this way you also have to think about the questions the wondering you have been doing Okay, because your subconscious doesn't understand questions or negatives. So if you are wondering about things, if you are asking yourself questions, are they doing this and that? Your subconscious only understands they are doing this and that. So you are creating it. That's free will. So let's get into mind manipulation. 
some people are very uncomfortable with the concept of everyone is pushed out because they think that they are manipulating people and we don't like to be manipulated, right? So they think, uh, if I am creating them with my thoughts, with my assumptions, am I kind of mind controlling them? <laughs> am I manipulating them? And it has nothing to do with that, okay? Everyone out there, as I said, is a version of you. They are a feedback of your thoughts, of your subconscious. So if you like a situation, if you like the way someone is acting towards you, that's great. If you do not like, you know you can change it by changing the way you see yourself on a subconscious level. Okay? And this involves other people, the way they treat you. Okay? What you have to understand is they mistreating you is also a creation of your subconscious and nobody nobody likes to treat someone badly think about yourself do you like to treat people badly chances are if you're a normal human being that you do not like that so if you do not like that imagine how they feel okay they are like I don't like to treat this person this way, but somehow I feel like treating this person this way because this person, you know, makes me crazy, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so you are creating them anyway. So why not creating them to be loving, caring, harmonious, uh, understanding, you know, friendly? Why not doing that? <laughs> Then you are going to feel much better and you are going to feel much better. But as I said, it all starts with everyone is you pushed out. So everyone, every, everything starts with you and everything ends with you. So it's about you changing your assumptions, you changing your most dominant belief about how people is supposed to show up in your reality. And when you change that, then your reality changes, okay? There is no mind controlling us. It's just, it is your reality. You are the creator, even when you believe that you are not, okay? You are the creator. And you have to take responsibility of your creation. And you have to understand that you can change your creation as well, so... That's how it works. Okay, so last but not least, let's talk about karma. When we think about karma, we think about a force in the universe that kind of makes things, what goes around come around, right? So if you create bad things for other people, you get bad things. If you create good things, you get good things. Is there this force? Well, if you believe it, yes, it doesn't have to be. But there is some sort of karma of the, the idea of getting what you inflict on this is correct, but not because of a force in the universe. It's just that whatever you focus on, it doesn't matter if it's for you or the person. And mind you, all the person are actually a version of you. So whatever you focus on, you are creating and you are creating in your reality too. So if you are focused on doing bad things to people, you're actually opening the door that bad things happen to you. So this is something to think about before you create an experience to someone okay whenever you you create something for someone why not focusing on good things this is actually a nice way to manifest things into your life because if you are creating a better relationship for your friend for example you are also creating 
a better relationship for you. They are a version of you. And because your mind is focusing on good things, it's like Santa Claus, <laughs> like giving, bearing gifts to everyone. So this is it. Is there some sort of force in the universe called karma? No, but whatever you are focused on, you are opening the door for this to happen in your life because everyone is super stout. And wh wherever your focus go, energy flows and things start to happen. So there's something to keep in mind. That's it from me, guys. I really hope you understood. Uh, if you have questions, please write them in the comments. I will answer each one of them. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.